and this lady named Ann Peebles and I, along with her husband, Don Bryant, wrote a song that Tina Turner recorded later in the years called I Can't Stand the Rain. Seal recently recorded it as well and so did Missy Elliott. And it uh, was written back in 1973 and my life took a turn. I started saying God bless you. That was my favorite patent word and uh, every time I'd a answer the phone I'd say God bless you and uh, the people made fun of me at CBS. They said well did I sneeze? And, uh, and I said no I'm just saying God bless you. Hope you have a great day and uh, so everyone uh, always called me the God bless you guy. I found myself in the gutter. I had lost my job and I had to move out of my expensive apartment and I was in New York City uh, not without any income rather and uh, they had paid me off uh, a sum of money because they uh, had uh, gone past the anniversary period when they needed to renew my contract and uh, so they paid me off so that because they breached my contract and the money they gave me after taxes in New York City you, know, you barely have enough for some soup and so uh, you know I got the check and the IRS then came in and because of back taxes they took uh, all the money that I had in the bank so I didn't have anything except for a name and royalties that were also tied up. So I'm really having to trust God. CBS, uh, when they sold themselves to uh, Sony, uh, they gave all the executives a, a check, but they didn't give it to you all at once. They gave you a, a, a first a, a stipend and then they would pay you over time uh, so much a month. And they said if you left a company for any reason, you would not get any money uh, after that. Well, of course, I left the company and in the middle of getting all my money and uh, I thought I was going to get another dime. One day I sat down and I said, God, you know, I need money. I need rent. I need money for food and uh, I need some other things. And so I went through the scripture and started searching the scriptures and I found out that uh, God uh, provided for his other servants in the Bible. And I wrote down all the scriptures that, uh, that would uh, relate to God providing. And as a result of that, I prayed it back to God. And I picked up the phone and called the IRS agent. And I asked him, I said, look, would you have mercy? Would you release some of my funds? I need some money. And he uh, kind of chuckled for a moment and told me to hold on the phone. And he came back. And it was in December. And uh, he said, uh, what money do you want me to release? I said, the money from BMI, Broadcast Music Inc. I said, royalties. I just need something coming in. And they give you money every uh, quarter. And I said, I need some money. And so he said, God bless you. He said, God bless you to me. And I thought, there's a God in heaven. And my trust bridge at that very moment was, was really established in God. I, could, I knew then that I could really trust him. And so I found there was a job in Chattanooga, a Christian station. And uh, I said to myself, Christians don't pay any money. You know, I'll probably be working, you know, half the time for free. And so I sent a, a, a resume and uh, I sent a tape anyway. And uh, I sent a, a letter that probably should not have hired me. It was very arrogant to the point. And the guy who read the letter was very arrogant to the point <laughs> and he loved it. He said, that's the kind of guy I want to hire. So I came down for an interview and he, <laughs> he hired me. I came here to work, but the, the job was not uh, available at the time. Uh, they uh, were going through licensing uh, uh, difficulties with the uh, FCC. And uh, so, but uh, I got to Chattanooga by uh, faith and trust in God. And I uh, had uh, uh, the church that I left, which was um, uh, the, uh, the church that David Wilkerson is a pastor of in, in New York City, Times Square Church. Uh, they, uh, I, was, I was a greeter there and uh, they uh, knew I was leaving and I told them about the station, probably wouldn't be on the air for another three months. And, and they said, well, you want us to give you some money? And I said, well, I have to pray about it first. And they said, well, look, if you, if you need rent for three months, that seems pretty easy. We'll give you that. And I said, I got to pray about it first. Rent was 470. So I prayed and I said, Lord, how much money should I ask the church for? And uh, the Bible, I kept praying and God kept giving me a, a number, 700. I said, wait a minute, three times 470 is more than 700. And God said, trust me. So I asked him for 700 and the guy who was in charge of benevolence, he said, are you sure? 700 is not going to get you through three weeks and um, three months. And I said, well, that's what God told me to ask for. 
He gave me 700. I got down here. I'd already paid the down payment. I had a little cash and I paid the down payment in the first month's rent and I had $700 left over from the church. I got a, a, a royalty check shortly thereafter in June. And uh, the royalty check was just what I needed to pay my next month's rent and, uh, and beyond, at least for another two months. So God showed me that I could trust him.